June 22nd. On this day we celebrate the memory of the Holy Haramad Eusebius, Bishop of Samosata. During the reign of Emperor Constatius II, 337 to 360, who was favorable to Arianism, our Holy Father Eusebius showed an ever-increasing zeal for the defense of the true faith, as it had been proclaimed by the Fathers of Nicaea. He was chosen as bishop at Samosata, a town situated 140 miles to the east of Antioch on the north bank of the Euphrates, the chief town of the province of Ephratenia. His battles in support of orthodoxy soon extended his influence throughout Syria, so that when the see of Antioch became vacant, it was Eusebius who influenced the election of St. Meletius, whom we celebrate on February 12th. When Constatius discovered that Meletius, far from being a sympathizer of the Arian party, was one of their most unyielding adversaries, he demanded to be given the acts of the election, which had been confided to St. Eusebius. The latter replied to the emperor's envoys that he would be able to send them only after authorization from those who had signed them. As they threatened to cut off his right hand, he extended his two wrists, saying, I will not hand over the decree. During the brief reign of Julian the Apostate, 360-363, who tried to restore paganism, the holy bishop dressed himself in soldier's garb and travelled about Syria, Phoenicia and Palestine, encouraging the Christians to remain faithful in the face of persecution and secretly ordaining priests and bishops. On Julian's death, he took part in a council of 27 hierarchs who came together around St. Melatius to proclaim the doctrine of Nicaea as the true rule of faith. It was thanks to his influence that St. Basil the Great was elected to the see of Caesarea in Cappadocia in 370, and he was present at his consecration. From that time, the two holy hierarchs, linked in close friendship, fought together for the unity of the Church. St. Gregory the Theologian praised him as the column and foundation of the Church, the light of the world, the rule of faith, and the ambassador of the truth. When Valens came to power, he showed himself a fanatical promoter of Arianism. He renewed the persecution. He had Melatius banished to Armenia and deposed Eusebius, sending him into exile in 374, where the saint was exposed to all the dangers of the war against the Goths. When Eusebius received the sentence of exile from the emperor's envoys, he asked to be allowed to wait until it was night, so that he might slip away from the town unnoticed, thus preventing a revolt of the people on his behalf. As soon as the people realized that their bishop had been taken away, they set out in boats along the Euphrates to search for him. When they found him, Eusebius begged them to do nothing to have him released and refused the presents they had brought to comfort him in his misery. The Arian Eunomius was named in his place as Bishop of Samosata, but the people's disdain for him was so great that one day, when he was bathing alone in the public baths, not only did they refuse to accept his invitation to join him, but demanded that the water of the baths be, be changed, for they did not wish to enter water soiled by the heresy of Arianism. In the face of such open hostility, Eunomius resigned, but he was replaced by the fanatical Arian Lucius, who persecuted the Orthodox believers of the city. Valens finally died during his campaign against the Goths in 378, and the Orthodox Emperor Gratian restored the Church's freedom and recalled the glorious confessors of the faith. St. Eusebius was thus able to return to his spiritual flock, who received him with great rejoicing, and he immediately began to work to fill the vacant seas with new shepherds. 
on the 22nd of June, 379, as he entered the town of Dolika with the new bishop of the city, an Aryan woman threw a large brick at his head from the roof of a building. St. Eusebius was mortally struck down and overcome, but before he died he had the time to make them promise not to pursue the woman who had killed him. And in imitation of the Lord and of St. Stephen, his last words on earth were a prayer for his enemies. Blessings of God. To thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. a sharer of the ways and a successor to the throne of the apostles. O inspired of God, thou foundest discipline to be a means of ascent to divine vision. Wherefore, having rightly divided the word of truth, thou didst also contest for the faith even unto blood, O Hieromartyr Eusebius, intercede with Christ our God, that our souls be saved. Traversing the waters on dry land, and thereby escaping from the toils of Egypt's land, the Israelites cried aloud, proclaiming, Unto our God and Redeemer let us now sing. O holy Hieromartyr Eusebius, pray to God for us. Since thou art illuminated with the supreme light, erect to the choirs of priests, and arrayed in martyrly glory, preserve them that celebrate thy memorial with faith, O blessed Eusebius, and make Christ gracious unto us. Holy Hieromartyr Eusebius, pray to God for all us. All already set aflame with longing for Christ from thy youth, O all blessed one, Thou didst subject thy flesh to the sacred faculties of the soul, and was shown forth the sacred vessel, and anointed with the chrism of grace, thou didst shepherd the people in holiness, O saintly Eusebius. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Spirit brings thee forth, the chief shepherd, to scatter the mist of the heretics with thy brightly shining words, O wise Father clearly indicating the upright path to them that would walk their own in holiness. O great Eusebius, light of our hearts. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless them that now bless thee, O blessed Virgin, who has conceived God. Take them by the hand, O Immaculate One, and lead them to good beginnings. Fill them with divine virtues and grant them strength to chant. Let us sing unto the Lord, 
Gloriously is he glorified. Plant thy fear in thy servant's hearts, O Lord, and be the foundation of us who call on thee in truth. O holy martyr, you see, be us pray to God for us. Thou is meek and forbearing, humble-minded and moderate, full of divine love, and at the end arrayed in martyr's cross. Holy Haramata, Eusebius, pray to God for us. Shining in garments wrought from thy blood, O exceedingly sacred Eusebius, thou was joyously ascended to the Holy of Holies, crowned with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. For reproving those of like mind with Arius, O blessed one, thou didst suffer persecutions and a most violent death, Wherefore thou hast been vouchsafed immortal glory. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By the counsel of the Father, thou bearest the word at the coming of the Spirit, O all holy Virgin Mother, thou glory of high priests. Wherefore we sing thy praise. Thou madest thy life to shine with virtue's beauty and grace. Becoming a shepherd and a hierocrate and a ghost, O blessed Eusebius, making thyself comely with thy blood as a martyr, thou hast taken up unto the bodiless chorus, with whom, O Father, do thou entreat Christ God in our behalf. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O hope that cannot be shamed of them that trust in thy care, O thou who alone didst give birth past all natural loss to Christ our God in the flesh. Pray to him together with the holy apostles, asking that he grant the world his peace and forgiveness and that before we come to our end, we may correct our life. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O holy Hieromata Eusebius, pray to God for us. With the salt of thy savoury teachings, thou didst check the festering of error, and made whole them that were diseased. With the heresy of evil belief, O wise and blessed Eusebius. Holy Martyr Eusebius, pray to God for us. Thou lest the people to the haven of salvation, while drowning Arian unbelief in the flood tide of thy blood, O shepherd and martyr, you ornament of high priests. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst rise in the world like a radiant star, all blessed Eusebius, making the minds of the Orthodox bright with the splendor of thy sacred doctrines. Wherefore with faith we call thee blessed. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With mouth, tongue, and heart I profess thee to be the mother of the Creator, O pure one, and I implore thee, illuminate my soul which has been darkened by sin. Lord, enlighten us by thy precepts and by thy commands and by the power of thy lofty arm. Bestow thy peace upon us all, since thou art friend of man. O holy Hieromata Eusebius, pray to God for us. While making the mind of the Orthodox steadfast by thy teachings, O blessed Eusebius, thou didst endure exiles for piety's sake. Holy Hieromata Eusebius, pray to God for o us. O wise hierarch, we know thee to be a pillar of orthodoxy, a fountain of healings, and a foundation of the church. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Cease Thou mayest the lawless steadfast in grace through the divine laws. Thou didst suffer an unjust death at the hands of a lawless person. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art known to be an illuminating lampstand, holding the divine lamp that does brighten all the ends of the world. O birth giver of God. In treaty do I pour forth unto the Lord, and to him do I proclaim all my sorrows. 
For many woes fill my heart to repletion, and lo, my life unto Hades is now drawn nigh. Like Jonas do I pray to thee, raise me up from corruption, O Lord my God. O holy Hiram, do you see, be us, pray to God for us. Preaching the Saviour, the world consubstantial and co-beginning less with the Father, thou didst utterly destroy the vain opinion of Arius, his abominable madness, O Eusebius, thou steadfast and indestructible fortress of the pious. Holy Aramata, Eusebius, pray to God for us. When thou hadst dyed thyself a robe of royal purple with the sprinkling of thy venerable blood, O all-blessed Father Eusebius, thou went forth with gladness to stand in the divine kingdom before the King of the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As a rose, as the most fragrant of lilies, as the paradise of God was thou, O Eusebius, having in thy midst the tree of life, the Lord and planter of all, and now do thou fill us with the sweet savour of the divine spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The divine speaking prophets, perceiving the infinite depth of thy mystery, clearly foreshadowed it in dark sayings and divine prophecies, O maiden. For beyond what words can tell, O pure one, thou gavest a body to the word of the Father. Thy reliquary streams with the myrrh of healing graces, O Eusebius, and thy holy memory, like a great sun, enlightens the whole world. The three Hebrew children in the furnace trampled on the flame with courage and great boldness, they turned fire to do and cried out with a great voice, Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, unto ages of ages. O holy Haramata Eusebius, pray to God for us. Devoting thyself to hymnody and supplications, O hierarch, thou didst put the passions to sleep and became an unsleeping guardian for us, the faithful, who piously hymn thee and keep thy memory. Holy Haramata Eusebius, pray to God for us. As a martyr and a hierarch, thou hast divinely inherited the heavens and stands at the throne of the Creator, crying, Blessed art thou, O Lord God, unto the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst rise like the dawn, heralding him that shone forth from the Father before the morning star, even Jesus Christ, O luminary of the Church, adornment of higher arts and comeliness of prize winners. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With thy conceiving, thou marvelously makes the laws of nature new, O Virgin, and thou dost reforge us who are marred in most wicked transgression. Wherefore, as is proper, we extol thee. The divinely speaking children in the furnace trampled down deception together with the fire as they chanted. Bless ye the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. O holy Hiramart Eusebius, pray to God for us. O sacred Herald Eusebius, with the hierarchs and martyrs, do thou as a hierarch and martyr beseech the Saviour of all, that we find mercy. Holy Haramata Eusebius, pray to God for us. Excelling in a good conscience and tending the sacred flock with the stuff of thy words, O all blessed Eusebius, thou didst drive away the beasts of heresy. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Reproving to no avail those who are weighed down with the drunkenness of delusion and persisted in heresy, O Eusebius. Thou wast slain by them, striving mightily in contest. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou art higher than the divine heights, thou gavest birth to the most high word, who has raised on high from the earth the fallen essence of man, O all hymned lady. Most rightly we confess thee as our God's birth giver, we who through thee have been saved, O thou virgin most pure. With choirs of bodiless angels, thee do we magnify. 
O holy Harmat, you see, we have prayed to God for us. Thou hast been vouchsafed to see the things that thy sacred soul had hoped for from afar, O Father, and with rejoicing thy speech, thy tent in the light that has no evening. Holy Harmat, you see, we have prayed to God for Thou us. Thou hast been made comely by thy divine pronouncements, O blessed Eusebius, and by thy good words and the most honourable splendour of thy contest. Holy Harmat, Eusebius, pray to God for With us. With exceeding joy, let us form a choir and lord the sacred Eusebius, who is fair arrayed in the beauty of true religion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The reliquary stream through the mud of healing graces, O Eusebius, and thy holy memorial, like a great sun, enlightens the world. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, who loves the good, since thou hast conceived the all good word in the flesh, make my soul good, which is become evil from sin. As a sharer of the ways, and a successor to the throne of the apostles, O inspired of God, thou foundest discipline to be a means of ascent to divine vision. Wherefore, having rightly divided the word of truth, thou didst also contest for the faith even unto blood, O Hieromartyr Eusebius. Intercede with Christ our God, that our souls be saved. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of Saint John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, at the prayers of Saint Ninian and Saint Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Saint Cisois the Great, Saint Brandon the Navigator, Saint Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwog, Donan, Flannan, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. At the prayers of the Holy Hauramata Eusebius, Bishop of Samosata, with the prayers of the Holy Martyrs Zeno and Zeno, his servant of Philadelphia in Arabia, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Pompeianus and Galactian, having been cast into the sea, were perfected in martyrdom. With the prayers of the holy martyr Juliana and her son Saturninus, who were perfected in martyrdom by fire. With the prayers of St. Paulinus, Bishop of Nola. With the prayers of St. Alban, the first martyr of Britain. With the prayers of St. Heraclius, the soldier. With the prayers of St. Aaron and St. Julius and the multitude that were martyred throughout Britain, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. For the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.